when a cancer is diagnosed what should be done we discussed chemotherapy briefly in that episode now let us see more details of chemotherapy so what are chemotherapy medicines these are medicines like antibiotics when antibiotics are used to kill bacteria these are used to kill cancer cells they are available in either tablet form intravenous or subcutaneous to be given under the skin majority of these medicines are given intravenously earlier all these medicines were given after admitting the patient in the hospital because the medicines required lot of support for the patient now since the results safety of these drugs are much better and the supportive care is improved a lot 90% of chemotherapy can be given in day care without putting the patient in the hospital so even patients who come from far away like 5 6 hours away they can be discharged the same day and they can go home this really speaks about how safe the medicines have become and how comfortable uh, patients have been now with this newer forms of medicines and the supportive care the newer medicines many of them are also oral in tablet form so patient can take them at home and does not even need to come to the hospital expert nursing and doctor care is very important because many steps are required to ensure that high quality results and low side effects are ensured proper storage of these medicines as recommended by manufacturer proper dilution in recommended fluids and volume right timing of the infusion use of specific filter in some cases and many other steps are important which can be delivered by trained pharmacist nursing staff and the doctors for the same reasons it is mandatory in developed countries that chemotherapy is given under supervision of only trained medical oncologist or hematologist modern drugs are now given along with these to reduce most common side effects such as vomiting earlier majority people used to get vomiting with chemotherapy now we see only about 5 to 10% of patients who actually have vomiting after chemotherapy most of them would either have none of these symptoms or just some nausea or loss of appetite rather than vomiting now when can these chemotherapy be used they can be used before operation for example in case of breast cancer to shrink the tumor and thus allow a better surgery it is also given in head and neck cancer lung cancer and others before surgery then the most common use of chemotherapy after surgery known as adjuvant or post operative therapy this is used in the cases of breast cancer lung head and neck ovary colon pancreas stomach bone cancers etc these are used to reduce the risk of relapse of cancer because we know from the research of so many decades that even after a complete surgery in many cases some cancer cells are still left on in the body and chemotherapy will help clear these cancer cells chemotherapy can also be given concurrently means together with radiotherapy this is a major advance in the last few decades where concurrent chemotherapy and radiation therapy has helped to replace surgery in several cases for example in the case of cancer of cervix the base of tongue 
throat or voice box esophagus lung etc in such cases radiation and chemotherapy together has allowed the cure without any surgery it is also used in some cases after the radiation after the surgery such as in case of oral cancers brain cancers rectal etc we will cover other parts related to the chemotherapy in next episode thank you